Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So I have a little bit of an unboxing to do here. And I'm going to show you what it is right now. So I already got all the parts that I needed. So I got my chrome pickup rings. I also got the other two guitars. I didn't feel like doing an unboxing. But I thought this one here might be a little bit um, special in a way. Who knows? A friend of mine turned me on to these and I'm hoping to install some of these in future guitars. And when I mean future guitars, I mean if somebody wants one, I'll install it in their guitar. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what's going on over here. And let's open up this box. I'm opening it up from the bottom because the label is on the top. Alright, so first off I can already see something is wrong here. Here is my paperwork. Let's see here. Alright, let me fold this side down. Alright, so already I see something wrong here. There's one in the box and I ordered six of them. And the total of this for just one does not make much sense at all as far as what I bought these are three two dollars a piece I ordered six of them um, yeah so I'm gonna have to send these guys an email so what this is it's an onboard multi distortion circuit called hot rotted tone and what it is just a little tone you replace your tone control that's already existing on your guitar and you'll put this in its place. You're going to have to hardwire it. It comes with the wire for the battery. Kind of a cheap one for a 9 volt. I don't like these ones. These are usually fall apart and break. And yeah. So I got plenty of these. I could probably replace it with a better one. But anyways, it's simply marked on the back. And you can go over to Guitar Fetish's website if you want to to find the wiring diagram for this. But it's pretty simple. You have got your battery at the top it says B with a plus sign on it it says in ground and then you have your out here so you connect your ground and your your ground from your um, uh, either your volume control or wherever it's coming from to this with the ground for the battery and then your positive goes from the battery on a separate lead and then you're out and you're in pretty simple in that and this is a let's see how many stages is it? one two three four five one two three four five all right and what this is supposed to give you it's supposed to give you a clean active sound okay then it gives you a crunchy AC 30 tone uh, an overdrive twin a Marshall lead and a mega overdrive all in this little board right here and it also has a fine-tuning adjustment over here I wouldn't mess with it you shouldn't have to it should be preset from the factory and uh, yeah something kind of cool and replace the tone control but like I said I have to get a hold of guitar fetish because they only sent one Yeah, not too happy with that so I'm going to leave this in the box with the paperwork email them and figure out where the rest of my parts are so I will show you the other two guitars that I've got and they're really not that much nothing special but I'll show them to you anyways so here is the ESP LTD this is the M10 and other than fingerprints all over it is in pretty damn pretty damn good shape this is another flat black neck is in good condition there is no problems with it tuners are the original tuners they still have the plastic on them and yeah so it's got a little bit of a mark right here which probably will polish out considering this is a flat black uh, it'll end up now what I noticed when I sanded down the Schecter body, I ended up doing a wet sanding on there, they actually had a clear coat on it. It was a matte finish clear coat, but there actually was a clear coat on it. I could have polished that thing out and it would have been gloss black now. And it's probably the same thing because it feels the same way that's on this one here. 
So I got plans to do some uh, fabric work on this. And then let's go get the seven string. So this behemoth here reminds me of a friggin' bass guitar. It's got some weight to it. This is the M17, uh, also a ESP LTD. And it's in very, very good shape. This neck is really chunky. This back plate can use a good polishing. Still has the sticker on the back. And looks like they took the stickers off of the back of the tuners. Um, frets look like they're in really good shape. And they're not really, like, scratchy at all. Uh, looks like a rosewood fretboard. This is not a defect over here. That's actually the rosewood on the, on the fretboard. Data inlays, logo right here, or model number right here. And yeah, it's a seven string. First seven string I've ever worked on. I've never worked on a seven string before. So as you see it, with only one string, that's what I got, the way I got it. And somebody's DNA over here, piece of hair. Um, Cosmo Black, as far as the hardware goes, the other ESP has got Chrome. And this is also going to get some work done to it as far as body art. And yeah, no cracking in either one of the neck pockets on any of these. And it's just going to be stripped. Again, you know, it's scuffed up, but I can get that out. There's a clear coat on here. Nothing fancy as far as volume and tone controls. And then a three-way switch on both of them. No push-pull or nothing. And uh, yeah, this thing, it feels like a bass guitar. I mean, it just, it's... One thing is the neck is really, really wide on this, especially down further you go. But who's going to play the low east or whatever the string is over here? I don't even know what that string is. So, yeah, luckily I have enough material to make a nut for this thing. There's nothing wrong with the one that's on here, but I'm sure it's probably plastic. Probably just one truss rod. Um, I haven't really checked anything as far as... Yeah, the neck is straight. There's nothing wrong with that. And I mean, it. it, it there's no forward bow, there's no back bow in it, and there's no twisting on it. It's pretty much straight all the way down. All the frets seem to follow each other. Uh, these frets don't even look like they've been used at all. They're not even tarnished. So that's kind of a good thing with this as well. So yeah, I'll be doing a lot of upgrades with this and doing some changing on it and see what uh, I can come up with as far as the artwork on it. Tomorrow I should be getting my Jackson neck, and I'll be able to complete this and throw this up on eBay. I'm starting to build up a collection of guitars over here, like a music store, and uh, yeah, so you guys take it easy, have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.